All right, so I wanted to make a quick video today, just showing you guys how to do a hip flexor stretch. Here's my uh, assistant, Scott. And so the hip flexor stretch is probably the most important stretch that you'll do as a runner. Most runners will benefit from it. Of course, if you're already flexible, you might not need to do it, but even just as maintenance, it could be a good idea. But for most of us, certainly myself, uh, I am a little tight in the hip flexors, so that's, you know, going down here because we're sitting so much, right? We're sitting and these hip flexors get tight and as a runner, you want to be able to extend your leg behind you when you're moving forward, right? So um, getting your, getting the most out of your glutes and your hamstrings and, and just being able to push off efficient, efficiently, you want to be able to get your leg behind you and that's where tight hip flexors can actually be a uh, an obstacle so a couple times a week even after every run you could add in a hip flexor stretch it's very simple you just stand like this and and push forward so the whole idea here is that if I'm just standing in this position I don't necessarily stretch my hip flexors because my pelvis uh, is sort of tilted uh, forward so if you imagine the pelvis being a bowl, like a salad bowl, and it's going around here, the edge, if we're tilting it forward to toss the salad out, and that would be like pushing back and arching your back like that. That's what happens typically when you have tight hip flexors. And that's not what we wanna do when we do the stretch. We wanna tilt our pelvis backwards towards a neutral position or even a little bit further. So that's basically done. Essentially, you, you're gonna <laughs> thrust your hips forward like that. So in this position, you thrust your hips forward and then you should start feeling a stretch here um, across the hip, basically. And when you feel that stretch, you just you could just hold your arms here and you just sit, sit down a little bit in the stretch and that's it, basically. Um, you never wanna go to the point where you have pain in a stretch. Um, my assistant is demanding me to throw the ball. There we go. Um, you don't you don't want to get pain in a stretch, but you want to go to the point of discomfort, just slight discomfort, and hold it there. If you're working on improving the length of your tendons and muscles, which means increasing your mobility, then you probably want to hold the stretch for like 30 seconds to even a minute. And then you can shift over to the other side. Same thing here. Tilt hip uh, or thrust hips forward, <laughs> tilt the pelvis and sit down and stretch. Hold 30 seconds to a minute and then repeat. So maybe do three times on each side and that's a pretty good uh, session. You just definitely want to be warmed up though before you do it. Some people can also do it like this or another way to do it is to put your knee back, uh, down and then move forward again, same principles. But I don't, I don't like it, I just kind of feel I get some knee pain from that, so I just like to stand up. But really the key is to just uh, thrust your hips forward, tighten your abs, and uh, just hang out there for, for like a minute. Or like David Goggins, just hang out there for like four hours. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Anyway, so that's the hip flexor stretch. Uh, a couple times a week, definitely a good idea as a runner. If you are interested in coaching, I offer custom training plans. Uh, monthly subscriptions where I'll continually update your training plan. We'll stay in touch, we'll have consultations, and I'll help you as you evolve as a runner. Uh, just go check out my website, there's a link in the description. I could even help you with some uh, stretching if you want to work on that aspect of your fitness. So, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, and take a look at the view. Mads, my brother, filming. Take a quick sweep around, there's my mom and at the cabin, having an awesome time.